Well, as markets continue their downturn, uh, coronavirus, of course, is also taking a toll in human lives across the globe. Joining us now with more from Boston is Dr. Shira Daron, infectious disease physician and hospital epidemiologist at Tufts Medical Center. We were just hearing about the government response to this, Dr. Daron. Um, do you think that we are seeing the response that we should be? And obviously, it's a big country with a lot of different medical professionals, a lot of different hospital systems. Is it nearly impossible to have a coordinated response in that kind of system and environment? I think we have to give a lot of credit to our public health authorities. Uh, they're obviously working very hard, and they've been providing guidance and updating that guidance on a daily basis, and we really appreciate that. I am curious, doctor, when it comes to viruses, we keep hearing all kinds of uh, information. What's the truth? As the weather gets warmer, do viruses tend to die off? And is that something we should take as relief, given the fact that the lower part of the globe below the equator goes into winter, for instance, South America, and we're now seeing the virus start to appear in Brazil and other parts of those places that are below the equator? Yeah, that's the million dollar question. Is this going to be a virus that predominates in winter? Um, so will that mean that we'll get some reprieve here in the northern hemisphere while we start to see more cases in the southern hemisphere? Or will this be a virus that isn't affected by temperature? And you know, the fact that it began during the winter season means that we, um, you know, we just don't know how that's going to play out. Um, Dr. Duran, does it bother you to some extent that a lot of the communication that we're hearing is less from people like yourself, who are truly an expert in this, and more from people who are politicians and, in some cases, economists talking about this? H how would you shape the message uh, differently than maybe what we're hearing? Well, I think, you know, a lot of people are asking the question, is a pandemic inevitable? And I think it, it is inevitable that we will see community spread of this virus in more countries and in this country. But I think it is not inevitable that we will see a major impact on day-to-day -day life. And that's really important. Hey, Dr. Brian Chung here. So when we talk about, pre, I guess, precautions that people in the United States can take to make sure they don't get sick, uh, what are some things that you recommend that they do? Are the masks really helpful? Uh, what other types of precautions can people take? Mask wearing is not recommended by public health authorities. The really important things to do are the things that you do during a regular flu season. Washing your hands frequently, especially when you've been out in public and, and touching things that other people are touching. Um, keeping your hands away from your face. Uh, again, especially when you've been out touching things in public. Uh, staying away from people who are sick. And certainly if you're sick, uh, staying away from other people, staying home, not going to work or school. Um, I don't know if this is an overreaction. My synagogue sent out an email to all of us that at uh, services we're no longer supposed to shake hands or give people hugs until all of this has passed. But whether overreaction or not, I'm also hearing stories about people stockpiling things, getting ready, just having things in the pantry. Is that necessary? And if it is, what do you want to have in there? It, it may be too early to uh, put together your pandemic preparedness plan for your home, um, but it isn't a bad idea to have some extra non-perishable food at home in any winter flu season. Um, it's possible that everyone in your household that drives might be sick at the same time and might not be able to go to the store. So slowly, um, week by week, you might want to add a few more boxes of pasta and a few more cans of soup. All right, Dr. Shira Duran, infectious disease physician and hospital epidemiologist at Tufts Medical Center. Thank you so much. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.